Good morning, everyone. Today we'll be looking at the Lenovo Yoga 11-inch laptop. This is a nice little sucker in terms of you can use it as a laptop as well as a tablet. There's multiple stands, standing positions you can place it in. So let me come in for a zoom. We'll take it out of the box, go over a couple of features, turn it on, and we'll see what we have here. Now, I believe there are two different finishes available. There's an aluminum which this happens to be, and I believe there's also a black. I kind of like the aluminum. I think that's a pretty cool, sleek little look to it. And there you go, this is what it looks like. Let me just flip it around. And what I did off camera is I just charged it just so we can turn it on here, but I haven't done anything else. I just plugged it in just to charge it, and that's it. Now right off the bat, you can essentially mount this any way that you wish. So you have your traditional laptop sort of stand like that. You can even bring it over if you kind of just want to watch a movie and relax, take it easy, which is cool. So you can have it completely flat. So any position, any position whatsoever, you can place this sucker in. It has a nice feel to it. I hate stickers. I'm going to get Take this off right now. Okay, now on the side, one thing to note, they don't have a DVD drive. So if you need to, if you have, let's say, an older version or of uh, Microsoft Word or whatever the case may be that you need to upload to your new laptop, there is not a DVD drive, okay? So what you'll need to do is put that program on a flash drive and plug it into the USB port. The other option is you can get an external DVD drive and then run whatever disk that you want to run off of it. So just take note of that. So there's one USB drive, there's an HDMI, and that's it. So it's very, very simple. This is your power cord, and that's for headphones, and that's it. So it's a very, very simple uh, budget. This is your unbun. Laptop. So now the laptop is booting up for the very first time. It's probably going to do a Windows update. So I'll return once this is up and running and then we'll go over the specs that this laptop has. Once you have everything up and running, this is essentially what you will see. Now let's just quickly go over the specs. I'll also include uh, the hard specs in the description box below. But this happens to be an 11 inch uh, HD screen. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. Again, it does run Windows 10, which I'll quickly go over in a moment. It does have a Pentium chip. This happens to be a dual core processor. The RAM is four gigs of RAM, which is a very, very good amount of memory. Regarding the hard drive, there's no hard drive in here. This happens to have something called a solid state drive. And what that essentially means is that it's extremely quiet. There's no noise from this laptop. It's not your traditional uh, at least when I was growing up, your laptops, you would hear them always run. You would always hear the fans on, so on and so forth. This is extremely quiet. It's as quiet as a tablet. And I have someone weed whacking across the street, but you can hear, if I just shut up for a second, there's just, there's no noise from this, which is a really, really cool thing. So again, it's a solid state drive, 128 gigs. If you need anything more than 128 gigs, then get an external hard drive. I mean, that's just the quick answer. Again, you have a 360 degree option regarding the screen, which we'll check that out in a moment. The graphics are HD, uh, Intel graphics, 515. Weighs a little over two pounds, and it measures 0.6 inches. So it's very, in terms of the thickness, so it's a very, very thin laptop. This happens to have the aluminum look. I believe there's also a black look. Uh, the keyboard is a nice layout, just as you would suspect it to be, or expect it to be. The battery life is stated to last up to nine hours, so that's a very good rating. And again, just don't forget you have the HDMI, one HDMI, and one USB 3.0 here on the right side of the laptop. The opposite side, again, is your power connection. And this is your combo in terms of headphones and that sort of thing. It does have an HD camera built into it, which happens to be right here. And then you have a microphone right there, another mic right there. So everything is built into the laptop. 
Now, if you're not familiar with Windows 10, it's essentially an application that has multiple apps all built into one place. That's essentially the simplest explanation I can give regarding this. As you can tell, I'm not really a huge computer guy. As long as the thing turns on and I can do what I need to do, it's perfectly fine with me. But the specs on this are pretty good. So if you've never used Windows 10, right here you have an icon, the Windows icon. If you just, in this case, I'm using touch screen. You can also use the mouse. Here's your mouse right here, okay? So right here you have all of the apps. The only thing I just added recently was Netflix. But other than that, I'm sorry, let me hit all apps. Here are all these, everything here is preloaded, okay? So everything here is preloaded pre except for Netflix. That's the only thing I just recently added. I just wanted to test it. And this is essentially um, your main screen in a sense. You can look at the news, calendar, mail, if you have a Hotmail account, for example, or an Outlook account. Microsoft Edge is their browser, photo, so on and so forth. Uh, Minecraft, of course, Xbox, that sort of thing. Now, let's say that you want to add an app. The easiest way to do that, on the bottom we have the browser. So this is your browser, okay? Here are your documents. So anyone that has used XP or Vista, this all looks very familiar. And then right here is a Windows icon with, it looks like it's in a bag in a sense. This is your, that's the store, the app store. So you just press that. And then right up here, this is where you would search and look for the specific app that you're looking for. So right now we're in the laptop mode and you can configure this differently. But the way I have this is I, I don't want the virtual keyboard to pop up when I'm in the laptop mode. And what I mean by that is the keyboard here is flat and the screen is up as opposed to me flipping this completely flat. And I'll show you in a moment what I, if you get a little confused what I mean. But right now, if I, whoop, I didn't want to do that. So let me go back. It doesn't matter, actually. So let's say I want Amazon, okay? Amazon Assistant, Amazon App, Kindle App, so on and so forth. And it pops up right here. I hit Get, and then I have the app. So that's just the quickest way you can get any app that you need. Now, let me also put this in a tripod just to show you what the virtual keyboard looks like. And then we'll test it real quick and we'll wrap up this, uh, this quick review. So let's say it's late at night, I wanna relax, watch a little TV. So you flip this guy over, and uh, let's say I wanna jump online, and there's your, virt your virtual keyboard. So let's say I wanna check out YouTube. Let's just see on uh, how quick this loads. I'm curious, let's see, STS launch, for example which is right here. You can get rid of the keyboard, hit this. Endless shrimp is okay, let's fast forward. Okay. So it loads quickly enough. I'm not terribly close to my router and I have perfect connectivity, don't have any issues from here, um, actually down a level, so everything works well. So let me get out of here, just go back home, and uh, you know, essentially this gives you a rough idea on what you can expect. Again, going to Windows 10, if you've never used it before, whoops, it's not a horrible program. Um, you know, I'm not incredibly young. For someone that's a millennial, for example, you would catch on very, very quickly. Uh, I, it takes me a little longer just to kind of get the feel of everything. I'm not really a big computer person, to be quite honest. I'm sure you can get that sense. As long as everything turns on, it's easy to use, it's light enough, I can do my work on it. It's perfectly fine for me. The only thing I would state about this again is it's 128 gigs, the memory. So if you need more, get an external hard drive. Secondly, if you have any programs that are on DVDs or CDs, whatever the case may be, this doesn't have a drive for that. So you'll need to either transfer those things to a USB and then get it on the laptop or option two is get an external DVD drive and then you can get everything on here. But that being said, I think it's a perfectly fine laptop. You know, it's interesting. I was looking at this in, as well as the Microsoft, which is considerably more money. And I almost purchased that, but 
the downside was the uh, tablet was 750 and I was under the assumption it included a keyboard and it didn't. It was an additional $130 just for a keyboard. And I said, that is just, that's ridiculous. Just because you guys have different colored keyboards, I'm going to pay 130 bucks. And I walked away from it and I got the Lenovo. And I have a Lenovo desktop that I've had for, let's say at least two years and it's worked perfectly well. If you're not familiar with Lenovo, if I remember correctly, it used to be IBM or a portion of IBM and then Lenovo came in and bought them out. I believe it's a Chinese company, but I've had their desktop uh, for a number of years and I've had zero issues with it. It runs perfectly fine, it has Windows 10. Uh, I, I understand the Windows Defender, which is their virus protection is really good as well. Uh, again, I'm not a big pro. I'm not going on to websites, I don't know. So I don't have any issues regarding that. Uh, the other flip side is this happens to be from Best Buy and a lot of times whenever you purchase something from Best Buy they'll give you uh, virus protection web root for um, like six months or something. But hopefully this gives you a pretty decent idea of what you can expect. Again, all the specifics uh, I'll include in the description box below. And if you happen to come across this a number of months after this has been uploaded, just leave a comment or a question if, you know, if, if I have if I've had any, any problems with it or how do I like it after uh, months usage, just leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Uh, so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.